Well, hello, fishing friends, and if you're new here, welcome. Well, today we're going to finish off the U.S. West DLC Epic Freshwater Series, and we're going to go out and catch the last epics from locations 11 through 15. Got a few of them up there for you to see. We're going to be catching this big guy, too. All right. Well, let's go get started. Let's go ahead and bring up my map here and go to 11. All right, so here we are on uh, location 11. And on this location, we are going to be catching the uh, green sturgeon. And it's on all the depths. And as far as bait goes, it uses the crawfish and lures is the minnow. Um, with the crawfish, you're going to only compete with the tench. And with the minnow, you're going to be competing with the smallmouth bass, the brook trout, Brown trout, cutthroat trout, and striped bass. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with the crawfish. Um, if you do use the lure, um, just fish with it midway down. Just kind of jig it through the middle. And that way you're hitting all three depths. Because um, he'll swim up to it and he'll swim down to it. And then, of course, in the middle. So if you want to go ahead and use the minnow, you can. Um, just fish it in the middle. I'm going to fish with the crawfish. So... I've got the crawfish on my line already, and I'm just going to start over here, and I'm, I'm halfway up, there's all the way up, there's halfway up, I'm changing that just by pressing up and down on my thumbstick, so, and I'm just going to cast out, wait for a second, it's not red, I'm going to retrieve it, cast out again, wait for a second, Retrieve it. And I'm just going to do this all the way across. Until I get a fast red line. Skipping up. About 10 feet in between. You know, you can kind of guesstimate about 10 feet. And when you do a quick retrieve, every once in a while you want to look at your line. Make sure you, your crawfish is still there. Um, sometimes you'll hit that thumbstick and it will change your bait. So always, always take a minute to pause and make sure your crawfish is still there and it hasn't switched to the shiner or something like that. And I'm using the pencil bobber. Uh, it just keeps it from drifting. You can use the big bobber if you want to just let it drift across the water. That's one way to do it as well. If you don't want to retrieve it and or retract it and cast back out, you could do it that way. Just let it drift across. Uh, but the, I like doing this method. It usually works out pretty well for me. All right, do one more cast over here. Uh, I could probably do one more over there too. And no fast red, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and reset my fish by switching to hard, back to expert. And I'm gonna go back over here and work my way across again. And I'll bring you pack back when I get a fish on the line. There we go. Got a red line. Let's see if we got it. We'll know if it takes off running. There we go. Might be it. Oh. There's the antelope over there. <laughs> There he is. Yeah, that was pretty quick, actually. Didn't take long at all.
big guy. He's a very big guy. <laughs> All right. Let's let him go. Watch him swim away. All right. Well, let's go to location number 12. Okay, here we are on location number 12. And let's pull up the fish here. And on this one, we're going to be catching the northern pike. It swims on the bottom. And as far as live bait, you have worm, shiner, and for lures, you have spinner. Now, if I was to use a live bait, I would probably stick with the shiner. Um, there's a lot of them that use the worm. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the lure. Uh, the reason I'm going to use the lure is there are four other fish that also use the spinner. However, out of those four, there's only one of them that's a bottom fish and I believe that is the white sucker uh, the rest of them are all top water so I'm gonna keep it on the bottom uh, for the northern pike and so I'll probably end up catching some white suckers um, but that's where we're gonna also get the pike so let me close that out grab my line here let me switch to expert And I'm going to start over here and work my way across. I'm going to cast out as far as possible. Let it sink down to the bottom. Until I hit, feel it hit the bottom. And as soon as I start reeling, it'll come up a little bit. So I'm going to do one, two, three. To try to keep it on the bottom. You can also reel really, really slow. And that'll keep it on the bottom as well. So either way, if you want to do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and that, that'll keep it on the bottom. Either way works. Nice thing about the spinner, it's easy to keep towards the bottom. Just reeling it slowly. Or counting the three. Go over a little bit farther. Hit the bottom and reel it in slowly. You can also look around for bubbles. Uh, might be uh, might be where there's bubbles. And there's some bubbles right ahead of me. When I bring this in, I'll go ahead and cast over the top of those bubbles and see if, uh, if I can get it. Oh, got a got a bite right there. Hey, and it's taken off. The white sucker won't take off on you, so we might got it already. Of course, it could have been another one of the fish swimming down to it as well. Yep, that's what it was. Especially with this uh, lure A, they'll come from the top all the way down to the bottom, so. It's got a pretty good attraction. All right. So I'm going to grab that stipe. Ah, I should have released it. <laughs> I don't need to save them anymore. It doesn't really matter, though. All right, I'm going to continue fishing, and I'll bring you back when I get one on the line.
Alright, here we go. Seen some bubbles out there, so I went after those. Nice run from us. That's good. Nope, that might be it. I think we got it. There it is. The Northern Pike. All right, well, let's let you go. Swimming away. All right. Well, let's head to location 13. All right, well, here we are on location 13. Another very nice, very scenic uh, area. A little waterfall going on up there. This is awesome. It's probably another one of my favorites. Love the greenery. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see what we're going to do here. So we have the Golden Shiner. Um, depth is in the middle. And there's our only option, the Dough Ball. So we are going to use the Dough Ball. There's only a couple other fish on here that will go after the Dough Ball. Um, they're all top water. And Let's see what else we got. Yeah, right there. The tench. The tench is, uses everything. But pumpkin sunfish, pumpkin seed sunfish. He's on the top. Tench is in the middle. So, yeah, we got a little competition, but not a lot. Um, you can fish on the top or in the middle, actually, uh, with the uh, dough ball A. It'll, it'll go after it on the top. So, all right, let's cast out there. See if I get a quick red. Nope. Alright, I'm going to quick retrieve it. And I'm just going to cast around to the right. You know the drill. Cast out there. Wait for a second. Not a quick red. Over a little bit farther. And I'm going to keep doing this all the way across. And like I said earlier, you can you can use the big bobber if you want. Let it drift across. I believe this one drifts. Well, you can kind of see the water. It looks like it drifts from right to left. So then you would cast over here and just let it drift across using the big bobber. I think there's some red over there. Maybe there's a camper. <laughs> Go a little bit to the middle there between the two. And I come over here. Oop. Nope, I don't want to go over there. I want to go. What in the world? <laughs> uh, that was awesome. <laughs> I'm trying to get farther to the right here, and it just doesn't want to do that. It just wants to go right over there. Ah, that's so frustrating. That's awesome. <laughs> I don't know why it won't go farther to the right. I mean, let me go right over here and see if I can... <laughs> what is it doing? <laughs> That's hilarious. 
Oh, that's great. Uh, definitely going to keep this one. <laughs> so apparently you can't cast farther than there. I <laughs> uh, wonder if that's a glitch in the game. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, I'll cast a few out the front here. I'll close. And if I don't get it, then I'll do a reset. So I wonder if I cast too far to the left over here, if it'll shoot backwards. <laughs> that was hilarious. Yeah, it's doing it. If I watch, so if I cast over here, <laughs> all right, that's awesome. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and reset and start over, work my way over here. And you know the drill. I'll bring you back when I get something on the line. There we go. Nice fast red line. Hopefully it's not a tench. Gotten so many tench. That was a good nice small splash. So it might be a sunfish. Hey, but it's not. It's our golden shiner. Finally. That one took a while. As you can see, I switched to the round bobber. That way I could see when the line was down. So, all right, uh, I'm going to keep them because I need a little bit of money. And we are going to go to 14. All right, here we are on location 14. And on this location, we're going to be catching the Olympic mud minnow and swims on the bottom. And live bait is grasshopper. That's unfortunate. There's a lot of fish that will do the grasshopper. So uh, we're going to be catching some trout, um, yellow perch, the sunfish, that brook trout. So, yep. There's a few that are going to be on the, uh, the grasshopper. But we'll catch them. So I'm going to go down to the bottom and switch this over to my grasshopper. I'm using grasshopper A and of course I'm using real A and rod A. I can get out there as far as I can. Once the bobber surfaces, the line is on the bottom and you can go ahead and reel in if you or quick retrieve it in if you don't get a bite and then cast out farther. Didn't get a bite. Actually, I'm going to switch to a bigger bobber just so I can see it. It will drift, but that's okay because I'm bringing it in immediately anyways. So I'm going to put it there as soon as it surfaces. If it's not red, I'm going to bring it in. Actually, let's go with the light up bobber, with, you know, with this bad weather. <laughs> Let's go to those bubbles out there and see what we got. Surfaced, lights up. Yeah, that's easier to see. And it's not there. Go a little bit farther out. Lights up, nothing there. Nothing there. A little closer. Nothing there. And I'm just going to continue to do this. And I'll bring you back when I get a red line.
There we go. That was actually the next cast, and I got a red line. Let's see what we got. And it took off, so that's not it. Some bubbles over there. Let's see what's over there. Hey, right, there we go. Nice fast red line. Bubbles are going for it. Nice small splash. I like that. It means it's not the uh, brown trout. It's coming in really easy. That's a good sign. I think we might have had them. And it's a sunfish. Darn it. Go back out where those bubbles were at. See if I get another one. Nope. Over there. There's some bubbles right there. Let's go after those bubbles. Some bubbles right there and there. Gotta remember where those are at. Right there, some bubbles. Oh, nice fast red line. There's bubbles there and bubbles there. Nice small splash. Could be a sunfish or it could be our epic. Actually, it's coming in very quickly. And there it is. The Olympic mud minnow. <laughs> oh, how do you eat that giant grasshopper? Alrighty. Well, that was a little quicker than the last one. Alright, well, let's go to last location for freshwater. Location 15. All right, so here we are on the last location for freshwater, location 15. And we are going to be catching the golden tench. Swims on the bottom, and I'm going to use a crawfish. There's a few of them that use the soft bait. Uh, only one or two that use the crawfish on this level. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with the crawfish and just fish on the bottom. Go ahead and switch to... Uh, non light up bobber we don't need a light up bobber i'll go ahead and do the bigger one so i can see it and um, don't really care about drift speed because i'm going to be bringing it in right away anyway so 
Let me drop the line down by pressing thumbstick down. And go to the right to the crawfish. There we go. I'm going to use crawfish A. And I'm going to go for the bubbles first. Yeah, should have went a little bit farther. There's some bubbles right there. Kind of right in the middle of a bunch of bubbles. I'll let it float over to those bubbles and see if it gets anything. There we go. Got a red line. It's taken off on us. I don't think the golden pinch takes off though, if I remember right. I think it's a medium-sized fish. So we'll find out here in a second, as soon as you bring this guy in. Or if it jumps, one of the two. Yep, that's not it. I'll bring this one in and get a few more casts and see if I can get it. It is a walleye though. Those are kind of fun to catch. Mean looking fish. Yeah, I'm almost back up to 300,000. Alright, I'm going to go back out there where those bubbles were at. Not an instant red. Go right over here a little bit. Alrighty. I'm going to keep casting around until I get a red line and I'll bring you back. There we go. Red line. Got some balloons going across the sky there. <laughs> oh, good. It didn't run from us. There's a splash, so it's a medium sized fish. Could be it. I see a gold color. Here we go. And hey, it's even my personal best. <laughs> All righty. All right, there you go. Now we've caught in all the epics for the US West DLC. Hopefully this will help you catch them yourself. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up on this video. And don't forget to subscribe so you can see the saltwater epic videos that are be coming out. And as before, I'm gonna go ahead and start scrolling up all the different fish that I caught and how long it took me to catch each one of the epics. So watch that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.